Team coverage continues right now and tonight a school in Windsor Locks is bracing for a possible outbreak. Students were dismissed early after two members of the school community tested positive. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Elliot Polikoff is live at Windsor Locks Middle School with what is next for students and staff. Elliot. Yeah, Aaron, so basically what happened here at Windsor Locks Middle School is that earlier today at 1115 AM, students and staff members left the school after the school district was received the reports of the two positive COVID-19 cases. And as a result, starting tomorrow, students are going to be learning remotely that attend Windsor Locks Middle School. They're not going to come back here until November 4th is the scheduled date. And those two individuals who tested positive for COVID-19, they are entering a two week quarantine. Now in a press release earlier today, the Windsor Locks School District Superintendent Sean Parker said that today's early dismissal was in response to potential widespread exposure. But Parker also said in the release that the district has not received any other reports of people suffering from COVID like symptoms of the two COVID positive individuals. One was last at the school October 16th, so almost a week ago at this point, and the other was here yesterday. Now we reached out to Superintendent Parkhurst. We did not hear back from him, but nobody at the school today except for one group of of students that are a member of Pine Meadow Academy, which is a smaller alternative learning center that is located in the same overall building of Windsor Locks Middle School. But I talked to a staff member from Pine Meadow Academy and she said there is no contact between the students that attend Pine Meadow Academy and the students that attend Windsor Locks Middle School. So that's why they can continue to attend classes in person here in Windsor Locks. But for now, live at Windsor Locks Middle School, Ellie Polikoff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.